Skyview HDX offers pilots an integrated comm radio solution with a dedicated control panel that features a revolutionary way of controlling your comm radio, resulting in a significant workload reduction for pilots in the cockpit. Skyview's comm controls are unique and innovative. You'll often tune frequencies by airport, station type, and nearby location, rather than spinning in a number. Yet, the comm controller maintains the traditional actions of radios pilots are familiar with. In addition, the comm radio's integration with Skyview HDX displays allows users to tune frequencies from Skyview's in-depth database of airport and navigational frequencies. In this HDX Academy lesson for the Skyview HDX comm radio system, we will focus on some of the basic features and functions available while using the panel mounted controls of the Dynon SVCOM panel. Looking at our panel here, you can see the Skyview HDX display along with several Skyview panel modules that are designed to enhance the features and functions of the Skyview system. One of those panel modules is the SVCOM panel, or often referred to simply as the COM panel. Considerable consideration went into the form factor and layout of this particular module to allow the pilot comprehensive control of the radio while minimizing the panel space footprint, weight, and power requirements. Let me take a quick moment here to point out that the COM panel module and all other panel modules are available in both vertical and horizontal format, making it just that much easier to customize the look, fit, and feel of your aircraft's panel. The Dynon COM panel module features a large OLED display where radio information such as the primary or broadcast frequency is displayed. Just below that is the standby frequency and below that the airport identifier. Next to this, when necessary, is the COM status information. When available, the COM panel will show the airport identifier and the station type just below the frequency number. Here you can see the current primary frequency is associated with the tower at Billings International, and the standby is associated with Billings Ground. More on airport frequencies in just a moment. The COM panel display also contains the transmit and receive indicators. These are denoted by the TX or RX in the lower right corner. And as expected, the TX symbol will display while the radio is transmitting, and the RX symbol will display when receiving. In just a few moments, I will talk more about the dual feature, an amazingly powerful feature that allows the user to monitor both broadcast and standby frequencies at the same time. For now, just note that when activated, dual will be displayed in this location also on the COM panel. Located at the top of the vertical COM panel is the volume and power knob. If using the horizontal version of the COM module, this knob would be located on the left-hand side. In common fashion, the volume of the radio output can be adjusted higher by rotating this knob clockwise, while turning counterclockwise results in lowering the volume. Note that rotating this knob fully counterclockwise does not result in turning the radio off. To turn off the radio, a simple push and hold action is required. While performing the power down operation, a momentary splash screen will appear, reading hold to power down. Continue to push the knob down until the screen goes blank. To power up the radio, simply reverse this process. The Dynon splash screen will appear and the radio will then continue normal operation. Be advised, it may take a short period of time for the comm controller to resync with the network. Once again, using the volume knob, but with just a momentary push action, will initiate the squelch override feature, sometimes referred to as open squelch. This will disable the automatic squelch function of the radio, which filters out unwanted radio noise and only receives stations that have an active transmission. There are moments in any flight where a pilot may wish to disable the automatic squelch filter to hear distant radio stations, typically automated weather or airport information. This may also be a good test to ensure the radio is still receiving after long periods of silence. When the squelch is disabled, RXSQ will be shown in the status area of the COM LCD. As mentioned, the COM panel allows for the traditional way of dialing in a frequency through the use of a dual concentric multifunction knob. 
To manually tune in a frequency via the dual concentric knob, turn the larger outer ring to change the standby frequency in 1 MHz increments. Turn the smaller ring to change the 25 or 8.33 kHz increments. This second spacing is dependent upon your radio and radio configuration, but the action is exactly the same. While tuning frequencies, you may have noticed the hints of one of the most notable features of the Skyview system. Using the GPS location of your aircraft, Skyview will search for the closest known airport within 75 miles with that frequency and automatically show that airport's identifier in the airport and station type fields. As an example, you can see the aircraft in our demo here is located close to S43 Harvey Field. Tuning the radio to the Unicom frequency, the airport identifier appears as S43, along with the station type, identified here by UCOM. There are several airports within the area that use this same frequency, but the Skyview system will choose the airport that is closest to your aircraft's GPS location. The dual concentric knob also features a push button action, much like the volume knob. A momentary press of the knob will initiate the frequency flip-flop action where the standby frequency replaces the active frequency and the active frequency becomes the standby. Here you can see how the multicom frequency at KAWO Arlington is swapped with the ATIS frequency at Whidbey Island Naval Air Station. As mentioned earlier, another useful feature of the Dynoncom radio system is dual watch. When dual watch is enabled by pressing and holding the dual concentric knob, the Skyview comm radio monitors the standby frequency for transmissions while also monitoring the active frequency. The active frequency always receives priority. This is true even if dual watch is listening to a continuous broadcast on the standby frequency. For example, if ATIS is on standby and tower is on active, the COM will receive ATIS continuously on standby when there is no tower activity. But when the tower transmission is received, it immediately takes priority and is heard exclusively. When dual watch is active, dual will be indicated in the status area of the OLED display. To help you determine whether the radio is receiving on active or standby frequency, the control panel will visually indicate with an arrow next to the RX symbol when receiving. If the arrow is pointing up, the active frequency is receiving. If the arrow is pointing down, the standby frequency is receiving. One last feature to mention here is the stuck mic transmission alert. If a pilot's transmission lasts more than 30 seconds, the mic is assumed to be stuck in transmission. The Skyview system will stop the radio transmission and the control panel will enunciate STUC in the TXRX indication area. Pilots are always encouraged to limit their transmissions to less than this 30 second limit, but if a longer conversation is needed, a quick release of the push to talk button will reset this timer. The stuck notification will disappear and the user can then resume their transmission. We've touched on how the Dynon Com radio uses the airport identifier to streamline radio operations, reducing the pilot workload and enhancing safety in high stress situations. You're also likely eyeing the comm panel and curious about these five related buttons, their functions and operations. The buttons are a key part of the Dynon Com radio's intuitive design, allowing effortless frequency searches by airport, station type or proximity. Hang in there as we dive into the specific functions of those buttons in another lesson on the Dynon Com Radio series. Thanks for watching this HDX Academy video on the Dynon Com Radio and the basic features of the Com Panel. For more HDX Academy videos, please visit the Dynon YouTube channel.